Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we discuss about the HTTP session. It is a state management technique. Let's see within an example. I simply click on the file, new, and uh, then dynamic web project. I simply pass here the HTTP session demo as my project name demo one and then click on the next and then click on the next I check the generate web.xml deployment descriptor and then click on the finish and, uh, my project is displayed and under the project explorer I simply explore my project here and uh, I simply right click on the web content and then click on the new and uh, then HTML file and uh, I simply write here the index.html and then click on the finish my HTML file is created here I simply take a form tag and xn equal dot slash servlet1 and then close it and uh, I am using here the xn and uh, url as a servlet1 this is the url of my first servlet okay and uh, then I write here enter the user id and then input type equal text name equal id and then press enter enter the user name input type equal text name equal name and then user name and simply write here the user name I am using here the pre tag, pre tag, and I am taking here the input, input type, input type equal submit and uh, value equal submit and then close it and then I press press enter and then tab ok my html file is created index.html file is created I simply passing here the user id and uh, username when we click on the submit it redirect to servlet1 url and uh, my servlet name is a uh, first servlet so we need to create a servlet then I simply explore the Java resource and then right click on the SRC and then click on the new and uh, then click on the servlet and I write here the first servlet and uh, I am using here the super class as a HTTP servlet and then click on the next my servlet name is a first servlet and uh, URL is first servlet. I want to change my URL. Then I click on the edit and uh, I simply delete first and uh, then I giving the one. And this is the URL of my servlet is servlet one. And then click on the OK and then click on next. Here is the various method displayed here. I simply check the do post and do get method and then click on the finish. My first servlet is created. The name of my first servlet is first servlet, and uh, it is extend from the HTTP servlet, and the uh, URL is servlet one. Okay, we don't need all these comment lines. So I simply select and delete all these information. I don't need these two lines so I simply delete okay 
I simply declare print writer object print writer out equal a response dot get writer get writer and then semicolon the print writer class showing error I simply place the cursor and uh, import the Java data you because the Java data uh, the print writer class available inside the java.io package and uh, the object of print writer is out and here I simply using a get writer method of HTTP servlet response it return the print writer object and uh, print writer object is out and this object used to write to print the information on the browser using the print method and uh, after that I simply declare here a variable id as a string and then I write here the request dot get parameter and then passing here the id and then semicolon and I de declare a next variable username user name equal request dot get parameter and then username I pass as a parameter and then semicolon simply you see here I am using the get parameter of HTTP servlet request interface and uh, this met method take a parameter as argument id and uh, this return the id value into the string variable id means we are getting the id information from the index.html and uh, store into the string variable id we are doing the same things with the username and store into the username okay and then press enter and then i write here the http session http session and uh, session equal request dot get session and then press enter I am here using the get session method and uh, this get session method return the HTTP session and the HTTP session object is the session and then I press enter and then I write here session dot set attribute and uh, then I am passing here the name and uh, the passing second argument as a user name ok I am using here the set attribute method it will take the two parameters uh, string name and object I am simply passing the string name as a name and the object as a user name I want to get this information, this username value to the next servlet. So I am passing here the username and uh, my session name as a name. With the help of this name, we can get the value of username to the next servlet. Okay, and uh, then I write here out dot print and. Uh, then id plus space and then plus id plus space and uh, then plus name plus space and then plus name okay username right here simply user name because my variable name is username and uh, I write here out dot print and then double quote and then anchor tag and uh, I close here anchor tag and uh, in anchor tag I write here href equal servlet to servlet to and uh, Write the second servlet 
second servlet okay you simply see here I am using the anchor tag and href equal servlet2 I am passing the URL of my second servlet when the user click on the second servlet hyperlink this will redirect to servlet2 and where we get the value of username using the name of the session okay and so we need a second servlet then I read, right click on the src folder and new and then take a servlet and uh, I write here second second servlet and uh, I am using here the HTTP servlet as a super class and then click on the next my servlet name is second servlet and uh, URL is second servlet simply I want to change then I click on the edit and uh, I delete all these information and I write here servlet 2 and then click on ok means my second servlet URL is servlet 2 which is pass I am passing into the anchor tag and then click on the next where is method displayed here I simply check the do post and do get method and then click on the finish my second servlet is created here uh, it is extend from the HTTP servlet and the URL is servlet 2 I simply select all the information and delete because we don't need and I am also deleting here the comment lines and I write here simply print writer we don't need to write here I simply copy this information from the first servlet and then paste here okay and I think we don't need to explain all these things because I explain all the information into the first servlet and then I copy the HTTP session interface statement control C and uh, then paste here ok HTTP session object is the session and uh, get session return the HTTP session object and I am using here the session dot get attribute and I passing here the name and then semicolon and I write here the string and uh, then equal and uh, string name okay I am using the get attribute method it takes the one parameter as a name and uh, it will return the value of username from the first servlet object into the name so I need here to type cost object into the string ok and uh, then I write here out dot print and uh, then name and then name and then I provide the space and uh, I write here simply welcome and, uh, then using the space ok and then save it my task is done and I save all the files and then right click on the HTTP session demo and uh, then click on the run run on the server and then click on the ok next and uh, then I remove the generic servlet and uh, click on the finish and then click on the ok my index.html is displayed in the browser and uh, 
in the index.html i simply pass here the user id as a 1 and password as a ram username as a ram and then click on the submit it will redirect to first servlet and passing the id as a 1 and name as a ram when we click on the second servlet the RAM is stored into the session and displayed on the second servlet. And here you simply see the welcome and then name and then RAM. Okay. Please subscribe my channel and my video. Thank you friends. Thanks a lot.